finally got the parts to fix the Titan. Um, it's not what I thought it was. I thought it was just a brake line, but I couldn't find the leak, so started investigating a little bit more to narrow it down to the master cylinder. Um, pretty sure the little plunger thing inside, which I don't know if you guys even know what I'm talking about. Maybe I'll tear the old one apart and show you what I mean. But uh, when you push the brake pedal, it pushes that and uh, pumps the fluid down through the brake lines and you know applies the pressure to the, the, the brakes. What's up, dude? Nothing. Anyways, it's not getting any pressure to the brakes, which is why I have no um, resistance on the brake pedal and no brakes. So, here is the new master cylinder. I'm going to get this box open, show you guys what it looks like, and then we'll go outside and put it on. Alright, so here's the new master cylinder. Um, yeah, literally looks exactly like the one I have in my truck. There's a little plunger in there. Well, not a little, but when you push the brakes, it plunges kind of in here to uh, put the brake fluid down in, and then it'll come out right here through the brake lines, which run over into the brake booster and all that. I'll show you guys all that. But anyway, these ones will be brake lines and these ones are for uh, ABS sensors and whatnot and then obviously the fluid sensor there. Everything's exactly like it is on the truck except for hopefully this one works. And uh, also got me some new brake fluid because I'm going to need it. Because when you replace this you have to bleed, bleed the brakes, which I will do. So just a real quick uh, kind of not really ad, but sort of. Um, the video is not sponsored, but anyway, um, I got this watch a while back, and I've been wearing it every single day um, to work, working on cars, everything. Um, this is a high raise watch. If you guys go to high raise, actually, just click the link in my description. Um, you get 15% off. But anyway, I've been looking for like an automotive type watch, and really hard to find them, and. Uh, well, anything cool and I found this which is really cool and I actually have another one that's on the way which I'll show you guys when I get it but like I said I've been wearing this thing for like a month maybe a little bit more it's not scratched nothing and I've been wearing it like literally every single day and it's comfortable um, if you can't tell time without numbers this probably isn't the watch for you because there's no numbers on it but I can tell time without the numbers so it works perfect for me it looks cool it's comfortable so yeah link is in the description for 15 percent off the link for this master cylinder will be in the description below as well if you guys want that you just click on the link it'll fit a i believe 04 to 15 nissan titan uh don't quote me on that but i'm pretty sure that's what it'll fit so link is in the description for this as well So this is my master cylinder on the truck. What I need to do is brake line here, brake line here, this plug for the level, and these two sensors down here all need to come off. And then there's two bolts. There's one here and one on the other side that need to come out. And it'll pull it right out, hopefully.
so I would suggest not doing like I did and just letting it run on the ground should probably put something on the ground but I didn't have anything so dirt I'm not sure how much of that you guys saw cause using my phone on hyperlapse way over here because <laughs> uh, I don't have a new enough GoPro to have that but anyways so I got these off the brake lines here and the sensors down here and up here um, they were really easy I don't know if you guys can really see this that well these actually I'll just show you, show you on the other end of these that I took off um, and I'll tell you the sizes for this and the sensor part as well. One second. So here's the sensor part. It's literally just, you see that little notch right there? You just squeeze, it's only one end, it's locked on, you just squeeze it and pull. They come off really easy. And uh, <laughs> for those, I used vice grips because I didn't have the right size. And that's probably why I didn't film it. I don't know if I did or not. I'm not going to put it in this video. Don't use these. <laughs> Unless you have to, like I did. And for the brake lines, it's just a 12. Worked perfect. Um, now for the other two, I'm not sure what size it is, but I'm sure I can get a ratchet on there and uh, use this baby and pull them right out. We'll see. sure how much of that you guys could see but this one down here I don't even know if you can see it there right here is really really tight to get out there's not much room for anything um, probably would have helped if I had deep well sockets but I don't so you can make it work without them anyway it's ready to just pull right off so uh, stand by I can't do it with one hand and we'll get her pulled off Those nuts are a 13. I used a ratcheting wrench. Um, what else did I use? Oh, I used this, and I also used a ratchet. Uh, like I said, I don't have a deep well sockets, so what I had to do is stick this in on the nut first, which was really hard to do because there wasn't much room, and then uh, just kind of barely put it in there I don't recommend that but whatever gotta do what you gotta do so I didn't um, oh yeah bench bleed the master cylinder uh, it'll make it a heck of a lot easier but I didn't do it so what I did was filled it with fluid crack these lines down here this one and this one bleed it till, uh, till there's no air and then you move to these ones, do the same thing, it'd be this one and this one. And then you do all four, all four corners of the truck. Um, I didn't film it because it's messy and hard to film and do by yourself, so, yeah. I don't care how well you guys can see this, but we now have pressure. It doesn't go all the way to the floor. Oh, the door closed, now you can't see. It doesn't go all the way to the floor. Alright, as you guys can see, we are in the Titan, driving down the road. Uh, everything seems to be fine, the brakes work. Um, the only thing is, is it feels like the brakes are dragging, but uh, I'll address that maybe um, in another video. Or it 
could just be because it's been sitting for a while and it needs, you know, ran, but I guess we'll find out. So, like I said, guys, um, I'm sorry I didn't really record a whole lot. It's hard to do when you're by yourself. Um, it's really hard to bleed brakes by yourself. So, uh, I ended up getting help, but anyways, it's still, it was, I just wanted to get it done. As you can see, maybe it's starting to get dark. So, but anyway... I showed you on the truck like right around the master cylinder how I bled it and then if you look on every uh, you know like brake caliper you'll see well hopefully it'll have a little rubber like cover like this if you pull that off it'll kind of look like a grease cert it'll look like this um, this one's broken because of course I broke one but yeah it'll look like that and then uh, you just see how it kind of has like the like a nut sort of looking thing anyway you put a wrench on that or a socket whatever you want and you just loosen it and that crap will squirt right out of there um, and then as soon as you have all the air out you know yeah I mean you I don't know if you guys have never bled brakes the way you do it obviously you you'll crack it loose you'll pump the brakes up crack it loose it'll squirt out or maybe it'll just shoot air out whichever and then you tighten it up and you keep doing it until there's no air and it's just solid fluid and then, you know, you'll get pressure on the brakes, which I have now. Uh, I took the truck around the block. It, everything seems okay. Uh, probably take it to work tomorrow. Uh, might video a little bit of that in, in here. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, yeah. The old one is in there. Um, I didn't... I'm not going to return it because it was only like five dollar quarter so i don't even know it's not even worth sending back so i'm not gonna do it but there it is um yeah <laughs> most of this dirt right here i mean some of it's on the outside but there's actually quite a bit on the inside and i think that's what kind of did it in you'll probably not be able to see it maybe you can i don't know see how gummed up it is in there it's disgusting but anyway that's probably what did it in there's a little plunger in there like I said and uh, yeah so I'll have to uh, get some new calipers which if you watched my power stop video I installed power stop brakes on my truck I said I needed new calipers and here's just another reason why um, it snapped kind of flush and uh, it wasn't leaking so just gonna send it for now um, cuz whatever I don't have time to I mean I have time well no cause it's dark but you know what I mean I'll uh another video say it I don't remember what you said you don't remember what I said no I don't know if you like the content give it a thumbs up give it a if you like the content Give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. And make sure you Instagram. Make sure you Instagram. <laughs> Instagram. What's my Instagram? Um Car Dude. Make sure you hit the Instagram heart car dude and subscribe. And I'll see you around the next one. Yeah. Make sure you guys give it a thumbs up if you like the content. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Check me out on Instagram at justanother_carddude, and we'll see you guys on the next one.